Hey guys, I'm back again with another unboxing and review. And today it's the Ace of Tone from Nuex. Ace of Tone, which is Nuex's latest dual overdrive pedal. Without wasting any more time, let's get unboxing. So the first thing we get in the box is the manual, and inside the manual what appears to be the quality control certificate, which you can see has passed its checks. So I'm going to keep these two aside for right now, and let's take a look at the pedal itself. So as I always say, the first thing that gets me always about the Nuex products is just their packaging and their build quality. And the Ace of Tone is no different. The Ace of Tone comes in a full metal casing and the knobs, the foot switches, the toggles, even the ones on the back, they all feel premium, solid and roadworthy. Now the Ace of Tone is essentially two famous Nuex overdrives built into one with some additional functionality. The overdrives that are built in are the Nuex Tubeman Mark II as well as the Nuex Morningstar. The left half of the pedal houses the Tubeman controls while the right half of the pedal houses the Morningstar controls. And each side has a drive knob, a tone knob and a level knob. There are also two modes on the pedal, the shine which boosts the top end to give you this sparkly crystal like sound and the fat which adds some body to the sound, beefs it up and fattens it, like the name suggests. Before you get mistaken, these two modes are not controlled by this little toggle. However, they are actually controlled by the foot switches and by pressing and holding the foot switch for about a second on each side, you would turn on the respective modes. The toggle which can easily be misunderstood due to its placement serves a totally different function altogether. The toggle is going to determine which overdrive comes first in the chain. When the arrow is going from left to right, we're going from the tube man into the morning star. And when it's going from the right to the left, we're going from the morning star into the tube man. On the back of the pedal, we have the input jack, a toggle to select between true bypass or buffered bypass, another toggle which doubles the internal working voltage of the pedal to 18 volts and this gives you a much wider dynamic range. Then we have the output jack, the external foot switch jack, and of course the DC 9 volt jack to power the pedal. The pedal operates with the standard 9 volt 100 milliamp hour power, which means it's easy to integrate with all your other pedals because the pedal will function with practically any pedal power supply. But without wasting any more time, let's see what kind of sounds we can really get with this thing.
All right, so I spent quite a bit of time just playing through this thing. And what I can say just off the bat is both the sounds you can get, both the Tube Man and the Morning Star are very rich sounds in their own way. The right side of the pedal, which is the Morning Star, doesn't add too much distortion. It's rather clean in nature, kind of like a tube amp being pushed to that point of beautiful breakup. I would describe the sound as a clean, bright, sparkly, crystallish sound filled with clarity. That being said though, you do kind of have to push up that tone knob to get that clarity and that sound. The moment you start rolling it back past the 12 o'clock position, you start to lose out on the clarity and you start to lose out on that bright, clear crystal sound. The Tube Man on the other hand, which is the left side of the pedal, definitely brings in more gain. It's definitely more saturated and driven. And you can even get a fuzz tone when you start to roll that tone knob back. The Tube Man side of the pedal is definitely a creamy sound for sure. Now I've been playing this through a cab simulator which has been emulating a 4x12 cabinet. And what I found is that the tone knobs don't seem to do much going up till almost the 12 o'clock position. And from the 12 o'clock position all the way up is where they really start to change and open up the sound. But that could also be due just to the cab sim that I'm using. Now the combination of these two overdrives can give you a plethora of sounds, especially when you start stacking the two overdrives on top of each other. Not to mention the little toggle which allows you to switch the order of the two overdrives as well. And to top it all off, we have the shine and the fat functions as well. So really the possibilities are almost endless. Now in this video, you would have just seen me play through about four or five settings but this pedal has so much more to offer than just that. Now just to clarify a few doubts that some of you might be having is whether you can only switch on the shine or the fat mode at once but the answer is that you can switch both of them on and at the same time you can stack both overdrives together as well. So you could totally have the Morningstar as well as the Tube Man on and at the same time have the fat and shine functions on as well. So what are my final thoughts about the pedal? Now as guitar players, we're always looking for great tone. And the Ace of Tone does just what its name says. It's the Ace of Tone. It definitely has a place on anyone's pedal board. This pedal has some of the most sought after guitar tones all in one. The pedal should be priced for around 119 US dollars. And to get some of the most sought after analog overdrive guitar tones out there, with so much more functionality, for just $119, it's a steal. This thing is worth so much more than what you have to pay to get it. So if you're in the market to get a new overdrive pedal, definitely consider the Ace of Tone. And there's a whole bunch more videos on YouTube of people playing through this pedal and getting some amazing sounds. So definitely check out their videos too, so that you can get an idea of the range of sounds available on this pedal. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if this is your first time on my channel don't forget to hit that like button, smash that subscribe button and I shall see you guys in the next video.